Hey there folks, welcome back to the I Am CDB project. I, of course, I'm your host CDB. If you are not, today we're gonna to do a shaving video with the old school Razor Rock Triple uh, X in the, what used to be called the UFO tub, which is the best version, or, or uh, in my opinion, the best soap inspired by Aqua de Parma, or at least the original. Oh, still smells great. This is quite old, it's probably I don't know, five years old, four, five years old. It still has all of its scent. It smells wonderful. Now, of course, I don't lather in here, and, and for my money, that uh, prolongs the life of the soap, not getting water in there. Of course, I scoop, scoop the soap out with a cosmetic spatula like this, then I put it in my great timeless bowl and, and uh, whip up a lather. Um, I'm gonna be using the Razor Rock 400 brush, which I love. It's become one of my favorite brushes, actually. And the Razor Rock uh, Hawk. I can't remember what version, if this is V2, V3, but it's excellent. That That is a Kai uh, mild blade in there, which I haven't used for a long time, so let me go ahead and apply a little moisture on the face. I hope everyone is Doing well and having a good weekend. I've had a pretty good weekend. Myself went to a uh, wine and jazz festival here in town yesterday, which was nice. Not bad at all. Uh, and had a pretty good time doing that. Although I, I must say, when uh, when we got home, my girlfriend and I she tripped and fell <laughs> as we were coming in the door and has has a big goose egg on her cheek this morning and we'll probably have a black eye so it's going to look like I'm a domestic abuser which I'm certainly not but it's that's the luck you have sometimes but anyway we had a nice time generally speaking then we were out Friday night with some friends and had a nice time with those dear friends so the weekend's been pretty good other than the fall um, also if you've been watching the uh, other videos I've done regarding the the weight loss, I hit my first goal, which was 100 pounds lost um, Friday morning, which was fantastic. And so I've received a lot of correspondence on that. People who have uh, started uh, doing fasting and intermittent fasting and making good progress with, um, with that. So that feels good. I've gotten quite a few emails where people saw my videos and were inspired and then tell you what there's nothing like being of service to people i really appreciate uh, helping others and so if i played a little part in you reaching your goals then that gives me a, a lot of happiness and uh, pride all right let's get started now with the shaving which is the hawk which it's been a while since i've used this guy and i love it it is Fantastic. Um, for my money, it's the best single edge um, artist club style razor. I just love it. Now, that's arguable because other people will say they prefer the, the mongoose or the this or the that, but uh, for my money, this is the one. It's the one I still have. I've gotten rid of all the other ones and I've been through most of the single edge offerings. Oh, Actually, I still have the um, the Colonial Razors General, but this one is more efficient, so I prefer it, although I like the the General, and the, I like the Evans Brothers who make the General, so I've kept that one. So This, in fact, is not my only one, but it's the one I use. So I don't use the General much, although I think it's a good razor. Made by some very good gents. But this one right here is the cat's meow for me. It's light. Um, I used to think that I preferred stainless steel and heavier options, but after using this one, I come to learn that I just really appreciate it. And uh, I think the inspector, David Fernicola, was the one who um, first got, I think that might be V2, I'm not sure. V2, V3, one of those, but anyhow, um, it was definitely an improvement over the the other one that I have. I still have it over here. Um, made some modifications to it. I think it was a big improvement. 
And so I really enjoy using this one and I'm gonna, I'll probably use that hawk maybe all week and uh, enjoy it, which is what I've been doing. I've been using the same razor just about all week, most weeks now, instead of switching every day and so forth. But one thing about it is, since I'm not taking the, the razor apart every day, if you wanna keep your razors looking good, I suggest you disassemble them and clean them every day. Uh, when you're using the same one all week, you tend to leave the blade in, or some people do, uh, you know, for two or three days, and it will pick up soap scum and so forth. And so be careful. Uh, my recommendation for for best care would be disassemble it every day and give it a a little cleaning and let it dry. And that's that would be the best. But you know, people in a hurry, they don't want to spend the time and. Even myself, I've been leaving the blade in there, not cleaning it thoroughly each time. So um, it's just fine. There's no rust issues or anything like that. But I would not leave a wet blade in there for longer than a few days, personally, because um, you can get some, you know, oxidation or transfer if you leave it in there for a good period of time. It has happened to some folks, but I've never had that problem. But uh, just be just be aware that you could run into that if you leave a, a blade, a wet blade and a razor for sometime a few days, probably won't make that much of a difference. But if you're really concerned about it, I recommend you uh, just go ahead and take that blade out and get yourself a soft bristle toothbrush and just, you know, under the water or some mild soap, just kind of rinse it off. Now, the only thing about these black razors is they do pick up a lot of you know, soap scum, or at least it shows a lot of soap scum. But it's no problem. You can you can get rid of that fairly easily. All right. And if you really get your razor to really with a ton of soap scum on it, you can use barbicide and soak it for ten minutes or so, and it will do the job. It's an excellent cleaner and disinfectant. Just make sure you follow the the directions because barbicide is, is powerful stuff. And if, if ingested, it could eat, kill you. So make sure you're following the uh, instructions on when you're using stuff like that, because it can be quite dangerous. If, you, if, you, if someone, if you leave it out and a kid or a dog or someone ingested it, um, you, don't, you definitely don't want that to happen. So make sure you use care. All right, here we go. Let's. We're moving right along. I, I gotta tell you, that razor feels smooth as silk. And this soap is still outstanding. After all these years, it's still as good as it was when I first got it. It's fantastic. I must say, it smells fantastic. I was gonna use a triple X uh, aftershave today, but I'm not because in my uh, cabinet, in here, I was reaching for something and my friggin', uh, I'll show it to you. My friggin' executive man fell on the floor and cracked. That's the thing about tile, tile floors, no forgiveness. So I'm gonna use a little bit of that after this shave and try to use it. And I guess it'll be an air freshener too as it's <laughs> open, but uh, anyway, I'll, I'll replace that because that's one of my favorites. But that's why I won't be using the Triple X aftershave today, which is excellent, because I may, may as well use that jar because it's already open permanently. <laughs> we'll replace it though, no worries. It smells good in here because it got all over the floor, I can tell you that. All right. Very nice, I love this brush. I love the long handle on it. I didn't know if I would like it initially, but it's turned out to be favorite of mine. I really like it a lot. Okay. Let's get into the third and final pass. And this, this blade is fresh and it's working really, really well. I usually use Feather Pro as my sort of go-to artist club style blade, but I can really use any of them. And the Kai uh, mild or fine too. I don't know if it's that much more mild than any other blade to be honest with you, but does a good job at least, that I can tell you. Very nice. Nice and smooth and this thing just works beautifully or at least it does for me. 
I wanted to ask you guys if any of you have ever seen some of those uh, promotional videos for like Rockwell, and I'm not bagging on Rockwell because um, they make some good stuff, but in those promotional videos, if you see those guys, there's almost no lather. And then at one point, you'll see a gentleman, he's using uh, their, I think, Model T, and he makes a motion, and it's kind of a horizontal motion. It's kind of an animate, animation, excuse me, on their website. And I was like, if there was a blade in there, that would be a cut, because you can never make a horizontal motion with one of these type of razors without an accompanying vertical motion. You are going to get cut. You can go diagonal. You know, you can, but if, you, if you're horizontal, as this is oriented to your face and you make it, you are going to cut yourself. So it's funny, I pointed that out a few times. I was like, watch this part of this animation. And a guy kind of makes a horizontal. I was like, that, that would be a cut. And so anyway, it's funny when you see some of these um, promotions, it's like they need a consultant to be there to like, no, that lather is not going to cut it. You know, people who are those uh, promotions would be fine for people who aren't traditional wet shavers, but any regular wet shaver, which I would assume is a big part of their market, who sees that, it's like, why don't they have any lather on their face? Or why is he doing this goofy stuff with the, with the razor that can't be done, you know, with, not without cutting yourself? And so sometimes I see that stuff and it's almost like they need, uh, not me, I'm, granted, I'm just saying any wet shaver who's experienced. I'm not saying they need my expertise because I'm not the guru of wet shaving or any authority on anything. I just share with you my experience, but it looks like some of those folks could use some help in their promotions and make sure that when they do take a photo or do a video that the uh, person who's using it actually looks like they're shaving. That's just my opinion. Now, the regular folks who aren't traditional wet shavers would never think anything about it, but the ones who are, notice, believe me, because I've had these conversations with many people. And a testament to how good this soap is, as you see, there's no leather on my face and the razor still moves and glides perfectly because there's that residual slickness, excuse me, tongue twist, which is outstanding. All right, looks like we've had three excellent passes. Let me rinse. We'll come back and do the post. Stay tuned. All right, and here we are back with the magic made by witches. Layers, which is great, great stuff. And we're gonna follow that up with a little Executive Man by Sterling, which I will, I'm not buying shaving stuff, but I will replace this particular one because it's a tragedy. Let's pour a little of that out. Hopefully there's no glass in it. That would be rough. Spraying glass all over my face. Oh, that smells fantastic. Um, the soap today was the original Razor Rock Triple X. It is still great stuff after all these years. Four or five years old, I'm guessing. Really, really wonderful stuff. Great scent, great quality, great everything. Razor Rock 400, which you see here. The Timeless Bowl, which is my favorite lathering vessel. These ridges and stuff are fantastic. You don't have to worry about dropping it on the tile floor and breaking it, which is phenomenal. And the ridges, I might add, goes almost all the way up to the top of this bowl, so it's very, very good. The only thing I would do with this bowl, as I've said before, is I'd bring the height down a little bit and flare it out a little more. It would be perfect, but it's good the way it is. If I had to change something, that would be it. And finally, we have our Hawk. I think V2 or V3, I can't remember, but it's excellent, I can tell you that. Lightweight, um, and riding in there is a Kai mild blade. Thanks everybody for joining me once again. I have of course been your host CDB, you're not. We'll see you next time, God bless.